Righto, now on Campbell's comments, people will find this hard to believe, but I've got a clothing manufacturer on the, on the, on the line. Andrew McDonald, firstly, welcome to Campbell's comments, mate. Thanks, mate. Cheers for having us. Um, all the way up in uh, sunny Queensland, there's a few uh, the NRL people will be able to see over your shoulder there. You've got one of the uh, Queensland Guernseys uh, uh, happening. Firstly, how is the weather in Queensland? Mate, it's pretty uh, pretty poor today, to be fair. It's, uh, yeah, I'm just looking outside, you can see. But there's a few more um, the Cowboys, you know, the Maroons one, <laughs> the Titans and Paramount Eagles. And there's a Blues one we've got to get and some bunnies and some other things around the corner there. So I'll have to... Uh, yeah. I'll have to send you a uh, Campbell's Comments uh, shirt so you can frame it and put it up on, put it up on the wall. Yeah, 100%. This is a serious... No, this is a bit of a serious serious chat because I think what you guys have done has been sensational, but in, in association with uh, Nutrient Equine um, and the New South Wales rehoming industry, you guys have got behind this uh, national camp draft and um, the rehoming of the standard breeds. Firstly, how long has your association been with Nutrient Equine? So we've been with Nutrient for, oh, it's a better on now, almost uh, four and a half years. Um, and then uh, as soon as we were the clothing partner for Nutrien, we were straight away with Nutrien uh, Equine, uh, obviously working hand-in-hand -hand with Mark Barton, who's you know, been tremendous actually the whole way through, um, and his team that followed down. I've actually got one of your shirts on, got one of your hats on, um, and the likes. They, you, you, you kit the guys out with everything. Um, a lot of people, when, we, when they first had their sale here in Melbourne, were blown away by the professionalism. Um, Especially like the lead up, they, they the, a lot of the guys when they rock it up with the horses called them the green shirts because there was just green yeah. shirts everywhere. They're like minions in green shirts, but then on then on game day it was just even kicked up another level. Level they must be a great company to be a part of. Yeah, they certainly are, and I think that you know hand in hand goes with their uh, their CEO, um, you know Rob Clayton, who's done who's done an incredible job, um, you know, and I think when he when he took it over and. And, uh, and Nutrien obviously became Nutrien from all the other aspects of the company, uh, Landmark, Ruruco, et cetera. You know, he really wanted it. So when he can walk into the crowd or a sales yard, he, he can see his employees there. You know, and, uh, and Nutrien, you know, stands out now everywhere you go. Um, so it's, uh, it's you know, the professionalism of the company has it's been bloody amazing, actually. Yeah, I, I, I can attest to that as well. I think they're, they're brilliant. The um, classic camp draft, I think you just said there before, you've been associated with that for four years. It's massive. Um, a lot of standard yeah. bread people that will be following this, I think they're getting the idea because I think last year it turned over $15 million. I'm trying to advise people how big it is, <laughs> but it's huge, isn't it? Yeah, it's massive. It's massive. And it's just a, it's just a good event. It's, it's, it's so well run and everyone knows that's where you go. You know, that's... Uh, it's a best place for sale, and it's also one of the great events to actually buy it in as well. Are you like? Are you from a horse background? Is that how you got involved with them? Or no, I'm not. Um, but I was. Uh, I was in the army actually for quite a long time, and then uh, my ex-wife had a had a large cattle station up in the Kimberley. So, uh, and her family. So basically, I was uh, up and back from there. You know, consistently if I wasn't deployed or doing other jobs at the time. Um, and then, you know, so heavily around cattle and horses, but I wasn't just a horse person, so to speak. But I, um, yeah, we, we had the idea to start the brand, just essentially sitting around a campfire after a day's mustering. Um, and a couple of us had some ripped shirts on and we thought about a stupid idea to start a clothing company. So, so Ringers Western, for people that aren't aware, um, and, and I've got your logo there next to you, but what, what actually, um, do you have, like, I know you have jeans because I spoke to Brett Walsh and uh, about, yep. he, he says you have jeans and like your clothing brand. What what do you, does it consist of? So we, we literally have basically everything. We can have, we've got jeans, boots, um, belts, dress shirts, work shirts, high-vis shirts, um, board shorts, swimwear, uh, every accessory under the sun, eskies, wallets, drink bottles, kids wear, whips. It's uh, it's whatever you need to dress. We have underwear, socks. Um, then we have just pure casual wear. We make suits. We uh, yeah, literally do everything that you could possibly want to dress yourself, whether you're from the city, country, or even from the beach. Um, just quickly, do you get Brett Walsh into a suit? <laughs> we'll get him into a tie and jacket, so it's close enough. <laughs> I was just thinking, I can't picture him, picture him in a suit. But he's a sponsored rider. You guys um, have got behind him he and is. sponsored him, and he's an incredibly infectious person. Um, he must be great for your brand. 
he's brilliant, you know, and not, not just that, like he's just, he, he and his family, Mel, just absolutely lovely. Um, you know, in the, um, when the NRL guys were up in the bubble up here in Queensland, there's quite a few players that are really passionate, you know, about their horses or even wanting to get into it a bit more. Um, so we had Latrell Mitchell, would, you know, he was out at um, Brett's place, um, oh, I think three or four times actually. So he was out there learning um, just the more skillful art of, of riding. Um, and they got on really well. Um, and then, yeah, we've taken a few others. We're going to try and get Benny Hunt out to Brett's place when we can as well. Um, he's a, he's actually, he's big into his camp draft and uh, also breeding horses too. Yeah, no, he's, a, he's a very good promoter, Brett. He's, a, he's very good at it. I saw the video with Luttrell um, on horseback. I think they were, it was while the um, State of Origin was on and uh, good timing and good placing. And I think that makes makes a huge difference. You're the major sponsor, uh, major supporter with Nutrient Equine uh, with their clothing brand and that for the Classic yep. Camp Draft. When you heard about this, um, the New South Wales harness racing industry, um, the standard bread rehoming and the camp draft that they've, they've come up with, um, I believe you didn't hesitate to want to get involved in some way. No, not at all, mate. When when Mark and Brett essentially asked about it or told us about it, just said we just said tell us tell us what we need to do and we'll do it. Um, you know, we're we're passionate about doing when we're in a partnership with someone, we're passionate to support in whatever way we can. Um, you know, we won't say no, and particularly with something like this because it's it's imperative people have a better understanding of what happens when you know horses finish up essentially from their major trade. Um, or just like anyone, so you can they're not they're not finished um, by any means, and and you know you can see what Brett's been doing specifically in the whole team, but what he's been doing with his horse has been amazing. You guys have come on board, and in a way, uh, uh, this is actually the announcement, the official announcement. Whether it um, anyone beats me to the gun or not, I'm not sure, and it doesn't matter if they do. I think one of the things, the thing I love about this is is the promotion and all the rest. I actually think what you're doing essentially for the harness racing horse in in showing them mm. that there's a new new a new way to rehome these horses is just through the you know through the roof you actually come mm. on board you guys are going to um, be sponsoring and getting behind michael wilson um and he yep. has a harness racing background his wife has a a gary owen background as well he's a champion camp drafter um bardo rattled everything off to me he rattles it off that quick i can't write that quick but he, <laughs> he's, pre he's pretty much he's pretty much done ev everything and in combination with sponsoring him and supporting him, you got behind the horse in Monafith, um, who is actually going to be competing in this draft through, uh, which will run through the twenty seventh through to the sixth of February. Yep. And that was simple to do. Yeah, it was easy. <laughs> just, I just, I just, I just pretty much just tell us what we need to do and we'll do it. So for for people that aren't aware, Monafith is a jet. Uh, six hundred and twenty-two thousand dollars in stakes. He won. He had one hundred and forty-nine starts officially. Thirty-one wins. 31 placings as well um, in that he was a high class horse. He won the Codina Sprint, which was a group one. He ran, he qualified for the Miracle Mile, I think twice. He qualified for the Inter Dominion. He was a high class horse. But I've actually got a video here for people um, just so you can get your eye understanding about how fast this horse was. So he's on screen there with the arrow. He's running second last at the minute. Andrew can't see this footage that I've got. But when you watch it, Andrew, and you sit back and watch it in a minute, these sectionals that this horse runs, they go 150.5 in this race, which is low flying, 27.1 and 27.6. His second last turning for home, uh, the horse that he beats, whose name is Bolt, uh, I know the horse's stable name and his race name, <laughs> oh, it just left me, went to uh, North America and won plenty of races in North America. Todd McCarthy, his driver's winning everything in North America, but he is an absolute jet monofief. How he got there to win this race, um, you know, beggar's belief. That was his actual last race win. So that was back. It? Yeah, that was his last race win. Um, he had two more starts after that, um, and then retired from the from the racetrack. So when people watch that video, they'll be able to see. And this is the thing: we've got a horse in this draft that never never set foot on a racetrack, yeah. officially anyway. Uh, we've got yeah. good, good performed horses. Now all of a sudden, we've got a real high class horse and rehoming him. It, it's just brilliant what's going on, isn't it? With all the parties, yeah. inc including New South Wales rehoming, you guys now and um, Nutrient Equine and getting behind all of these. No, exactly right, mate. Yeah. It's, uh, when, when was that race? Um, I didn't write the date down. I think 2018, but I'm not 100%, 2018. I'm not 100 yeah, sure of that. Oh, no. I did. I wish I had a road at there. <laughs> Actually, hang on. Don't stress. Might not be all lost. 
Uh, yeah, no, it's all lost. It's not, it's not on that one. <laughs> Sorry to put you on the top there, mate. <laughs> oh, hang on. No, we might still, we, we still could be a half a chance. No, we're no chance. I've got all these pages no. open, but no, it's uh, it's not on any of those. But he was a he no. was a he was a ripping horse. So he's been off the racetrack for for a little while. But this is, I think, this is great, and it's a great combination. And and I think well done to you guys for getting behind it. I've actually got your website up there on on, on the screen for people to be able to go and visit yeah. and, and the likes. But if there's harness people that want uh, uniforms. Um, you know, jackets, hats. I can totally recommend, and I don't have it with me. The vests, um, especially through winter time, they're sensational. The uh, puffer vests that they, yep. they they have. You got a huge range of clothing. So I recommend any harness person is go to ringerswestern.com.au. But you also want all your socials, aren't you? We are. Yep. Yeah. Heavy presence. Heavy presence on there. Facebook, Instagram. Instagram. Yep. Everything. Yep. So just go. Just basically Ringers Western. Ringers Western. Come that's it. Yep, yep, exactly they'll, right, mate. They'll come up as well. I think it's great, Andrew. I think you fit with what everyone else has done um, here because, well, you're, you're building a, you're building your own brand as well, and you're getting behind a company that is building a brand and, and becoming a really, yeah. really, really big player in Australia, not just standard yeah. beds and not just camp draft. He's a big player, full stop, um, in what they're doing. So it's a bit of a no-brainer. But at the end of the day, I'll just go say thank you to trying to find a home um, for these these beautiful horses that we, we a lot of people on the Campbell's comments already know about getting them out yep. there to a lot of you guys with the drafting you know and I know Brett Welsh um, I've got a, Emma's coming up we've got some girl interviews coming up hopefully going to be in New South Wales early um, next month at the worst yep. we'll be able to do some footage in that but it's just a bit of a no-brainer isn't it yeah mate 100% Andrew thank you very much and no. uh, thank you very much to Ringers Western for getting involved no I really appreciate that mate thanks again